Yay, yeah, so hello YouTube. This is going to be a video about military sleeping bags that have a zipper in the front, such as the Carinthia Defense 4 or many, many others, uh, or copies thereof. Um, so to show you what I mean, this is a military sleeping bag. The zipper is on the front. So <clears throat> if you come from hiking sleeping bags, you might know that the zipper is on the side. And I want to share you with you like um, some little tips um, how to actually get the best use out of it to not be cold to avoid moisture build up and to keep heat inside the sleeping bag um, And I don't know if this is the way those sleeping bags are kind of instructed to use in the military When I was in the military we were not instructed to use them like this I discovered that over time and it just makes so much more sense. So <clears throat> The issue is if you're in the sleeping bag, right? These military sleeping bags do not have the heat color that you might have inside kind of a hiking sleeping bag. Um, <clears throat> so when you are laying in the sleeping bag like this, this is a dummy I made now from an isolation mattress, right? So you're like in the bag, you might turn around to the side. What will happen is whenever you move, right? Whenever you move, air will move in and out through this hole. Right? A sleeping bag is not warming you. You're warming the sleeping bag with your body heat. So this is why it's good to be warm when you go into the sleeping bag and eat maybe some calories before you go in the sleeping bag. Do some exercise before you go. Right? Try not to be cold before you go in. But when you are in the sleeping bag, right, the problem is you're moving air in and out. Air that your body has heated up. Um, another issue is, is when you turn to the side, Right, when you're turning, because you're not always laying on your back, right? So when you're laying on your side, you will be breathing inside the sleeping bag. So moisture from your breath will be inside of the sleeping bag. Another issue is that <clears throat> you do not, you know, you're kind of, you're not um, open to, to stimuli from outside. You don't hear much. So what I have discovered and what I strongly recommend to everybody who is using military sleeping bags is to take the head, I'll try to zip this up. <clears throat> so to hike, take the head outside of the sleeping bag, right? So what is happening now is this hole is effectively closed with the neck. So no matter how much you turn around now, the heat will stay inside. The head is packed nicely, you know, in balaclavas and hats and beanies. Um, when you turn around, you know, all the moisture will stay outside of the sleeping bag from breathing. And another wonderful advantage that I see with this is when you're turning around, right? Imagine you're turning around and then you to the side, you lay on your side, then you can put your hand inside of the sleeping bag under your head as a pillow. Right, so you have your hands in the warm and still there under the head. So, and you, you might have an additional pillow, you might, you know, use the stuff sack to fill it with clothing or so. But yeah, that's, um, you know, something to, to, um, to experiment with. I strongly recommend giving this one a try. Um, I, it makes a lot of sense to me. I've used these sleeping bags in my wilderness guiding uh, operations now for um, pretty much nine years with customers and people that said like, oh, I was cold uh, and last night and I told them like, hmm, did you have this, the head inside? Give this a try. And they tried and like, ah, oh, much better. So maybe give this a try. Uh, it really is a proven system to me. Uh, works at least in the wilderness of the places that our species calls Finland. So if you have any questions uh, or ideas or look for more of these kind of wisdoms or other wisdoms and ideas, please have a look at my channel, uh, cruise around, subscribe, um, share videos. And there's a lot of more important content there, I should say. Have a good time. Bye bye. This is greetings from the yurts.